Hello and welcome. Now today some goodies have arrived sent to me by Electronscape. I had designed and measured up some parts for the SID boombox, such as the faceplates of the VU meters and coil meters, as well as the battery meter. The SID box screen and circuitry I planned to put into where the cassette door was. It was quite an obvious choice because the SID box itself is just a little smaller than a compact audio cassette, and of course a no-brainer to install the circuitry and screen there. It seemed to be pretty much made for it. It did still need a faceplate and bracket to make it fit in, so I got out my calipers and measured literally everything, in every little detail. I had to be as accurate as possible, I didn't want to spend any time shaving off edges, or by sanding down, or even having to add to parts that were too small. You know, which indeed would weaken the joint, of course. So, I designed and planned all the parts, which Electronscape kindly printed out with his 3D printer. I'm so thankful he's bought one of these, it came in so handy for many things. Uh, little parts here and there, SID box, test cases to see which designs work better, and even testing which colors work better. And of course projects such as this current one I'm doing. And of course we also do have plans for some exciting projects in the future. With regards to the counter circuitry, he decided to build it himself for me, uh, because he knew how to create it just for the SID box circuitry. I guess he treated it as an extension of the SID box. And of course, all the project work causes certain minds, like mine, to misfire a little and become extra creative. <clears throat> well, you need a bit of humor, don't you? So anyway, just before I unbox his parcel, I wish to respond to a few commenters' suggestions. A couple of you have suggested that I design a PCB for this Sid Boombox project. I'm actually way ahead of you with regards to this, you know, before even starting to build this by hand with through hole components for the sake of this project. Uh, I still wanted to, you know, design a PCB and get a company such as PCBWay to build it for me. I must say I am impressed with their services and circuit board samples which they sent me. On their website they show a lot of detail with regards to advanced PCB building for high-end and professional projects. This is what made me suggest to Electronscape about getting a SIDBOX circuit done with PCBWay's service and to see how it is. We are indeed considering that after seeing what they offer. Because after sending Wayne the drawings, he sent me back this interesting three compartment box <laughs> with um, the printouts back and I'm so excited to kind of see them. But he showed me he broke this. I can't believe it's done on a 3D printer, it's so smooth. It's really nice. So when I decided on this tape counter thing, because you know it's like um kind of is like a tape counter except it actually goes into the sit box itself and uh it displays the time on these leds so this vintage um led display is on a dip package which is i found quite quirky uh they haven't they don't do these things anymore it's mostly um vintage and here he sorted out uh, a custom made uh, sit box uh, for the for the actual SID boombox itself and with the extra pins and extra you know things that I requested as well as the count the output port for the counter which is you know I think it's pretty cool and of course <laughs> Wayne being Wayne with the uh, the actual stuff written on, <laughs> on the box itself this is very fragile stuff which I'm <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna handle it harshly so basically he's used magnet wire to put the actual uh, the pins onto this uh, vera board and you can see the sit box screen over here and this kind of goes into the front part of the sit boom box uh, where the cassette is so that's one and we got some spares here which i mean i was gonna he decided to fix it on for me bless him and um Oh yeah, also I got my sit box back from him after an upgrade, a brain upgrade. A microchip did a new <clears throat> CPU, so he you know, asked me to send him mine back so he can just like, you know, replace the CPU and, you know, there's more RAM space and so forth. So, you know, you can do more features with this now. A couple of extra cases, which is done. Like replacement cases. This is kind of the bracket for the, um, the actual sit boom box. I don't think I'm going to use that, to be honest. Um, I'll see how it looks, but I, I get the feeling I'm not going to be using that. It's worked hard printing all these out. It's pretty amazing, actually. I cleaned up some spares. Quite a few spares. Actually. 
And these are the VU, the VU displays. He's got a few variants of them, a few different size holes uh, for the LEDs. It's like he's adjusted and printed, just unlike printed a spare one as well. And the other half of these should be in here. Yep, let's go. Now this is for the, like the coil meter ones. So it sort of like goes in like this. Actually no, it like that. So you have the the coil meter here, then you have the battery level indicator here, and then you have the VU displays here. Which is you know pretty cool. And there's some spares here just in case I goof up. And it's very thoughtful him. So yeah, thanks so much Wayne for this. This was an extra bonus video this week to keep you updated on other aspects of my project and how everything is progressing. I'll be uploading a project video on Friday, so do subscribe to keep up to date. If you haven't done so already, please show support for the Sidbox project by joining the Facebook group. There will be updates regularly. We're working very hard on the Kickstarter currently, making sure everything is in check before we go live with it. It is a bit later than expected due to lots of other things. We do apologize for this. Uh, there are a lot of things happening in each of our lives. Electron skips live and also my own. As I said, we are working very hard to tie all the loose ends together and to get everything going ready for the Kickstarter. I have also ordered some customized goodies for the Sidbox itself, which I'll be showing soon. So yes, please do join the Facebook group for the updates, linked in the description below. So that's all for today, thanks so much for your likes, your shares, please do leave your thoughts in the comments below, don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more, not forgetting to hit that bell icon. Also a huge thank you to my patrons for all their support, especially to my top tier patrons, Electronscape, Axel Dominator, Rich Garbut, Robert Menes, and Chris Sablansky. Do see the video descriptions below to check out my patrons' websites and YouTube channels. Adios! Mm -hmm.